What makes you so sure this murder was committed in the car? Well, if she'd been killed before she got in the car, the murderer would have hidden her body in the back. In that case, he couldn't have dumped her out without stopping. Now, you're driving up the canyon. Your left hand's on the wheel. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. She's, uh, she's telling you she's done nothing wrong. You pretend to believe her. You put your right arm around her neck. Now, you get to a lonely place in the road, and you begin to squeeze. You're an ex-GI. You know judo. You know how to kill a person without using your hands. You're driving the car, and, and you're strangling her. You don't see her bulging eyes or protruding tongue. Go ahead, go ahead, Brum. Squeeze harder. You love her, and she's deceived you. You hate her patronizing attitude. She looks down on you. She's impressed with celebrities. She wants to get rid of you. You squeeze harder. Harder. Squeeze harder. It's wonderful to feel her throat crush under your arm. Rob, stop it. How did it hurt you today? I think so. Well, I'm not. My hands. You forgot my hands. I could scratch his eyes out before he could kill me. Ah, but you didn't. Your first instinct was to grab his arm, try to loosen his grip, try to loosen his grip, try to loosen his grip. That's why you lost the battle, just as Mildred did. You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? Well, I've had a lot of experience in matters of this kind. I've killed dozens of people in pictures. I don't need a prize. Every day here is the prize. Every life saved, every fire put out. We're Seattle firefighters. Station 19 is where we choose to be, and that pole belongs to us. We earned it. One fire at a time which means forget how things are usually done. Every day is a damn whole day, starting right now. Let's go. Wait, really? is to breathe in and loose in your grip and loose in your grip and loose in your grip you can't overthink it hey colin you got that npr orgy article you're working on uh, i don't dereliction of duty typically comes with an excuse or apology but uh we'll move on nate you mentioned that comic about the conversion therapy camp that's really just a teen circuit party? <sighs> my dog ate it. Yeah. And then I ate my dog. It was so sad and very gamey. Chewy. Troy, your Malia Obama pitch. Oh, was that due today? Can I get that to you never? The fuck is going on here? <laughs> is this a coup? Yes! Stop being dramatic. Stop being so dramatic, Kurt. This is a humor magazine, and you run it like a dictator. Don't get me wrong. You're funny. But so are a lot of other people. Loosen the grip a little. Loosen the grip a little. Loosen the grip a little. If you give us more editorial control, hell, you'll have more free time for school than ladies and hair care. What's happening up there? Stand by, doctor. They've locked onto us with some sort of tractor beam. It's draining our power. Reroute emergency power to the holodeck. Send an antimatter surge through the shield matrix. See if that'll loosen their grip. See if that'll loosen their grip. See if that'll loosen their grip. No effect. DJ, bad news. We don't have a band. Dogface broke up. This is terrible. I promised we'd have a great band. Everybody's gonna hate me. Unless... Whoa, 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 what unless? What are you looking at me for? Oh, come on. 
Well, DJ, you know, I'd be happy to help you out, but I can't get my band at this late of notice. Well, what if I got you another backup band? Wait, I know who I can get. They're hot. Please. Please, get a grip. Actually, loosen your grip. Actually, loosen your grip. Actually, loosen your grip. All right, I'm there for you, babe. Oh, thank you.